In this poem, I'm talking to Atlas, who is in Greek mythology, and he holds up the sky on his shoulders. Atlas, tell me, how do you do it? How do you hold up the sky when I can't even hold myself on two feet? What does your wife say, Atlas, when you cancel the dinner plans because if you leave, everything will come down around you? And the sky may be on your shoulders, but the world is in my head, and nobody is getting along. Just make it spin quietly, Atlas. I am too tired to get out of bed. Everything is so heavy. I am an ant buried by the hill it tried to build. Tell me, do I look like an ant to you? Atlas, they say depression is being caught in the darkness. Well, I am surrounded by light, but I can't seem to shine. And why does it feel like I'm drowning in my troubles? My mother is screaming for me to swim. I don't know how. The water fills my lungs. I learn to breathe, but not to float. Atlas, I am tired. Do you ever get tired, Atlas? Does it hurt to hold up the sky? When I see the weight on your shoulders, I feel even smaller. How can my problems compare when I am a speck in the vast emptiness of the space that you lift? How could I possibly matter? Tell me, Atlas, what does it feel like to matter? And when you are hunched under the weight of the world, do you ever think about letting the stars fall? Because if you hold the sky and I hold my worries, then who is holding us? Heaven is happy because ignorance is a bliss, and they can't see the sweat on your bones. They don't even care to ask why they are still up there. Atlas, if our pain is their pleasure, then should we stay underground? Should we scream in silence and hope that they lift our burden when they don't even notice the blood that drips down our wrists in justification of our pain? Atlas, I'm tired of being in pain. Atlas, let the sky fall. Yeah.